Hello, guys. I got a new head. Would you date someone who's trans? Oh, not this again. Look, Riley, I'm very flattered, mate, but you're just not my type. Would you date someone who's black? Well, I mean, not just because they're black. I'm not trying to complete any kind of sexual Pokedex here, but yeah, sure. Would you date someone who's fat? Oh, that is a dodgy one. I mean, I've had many a night which has resulted in me waking up next to what can only be described as a bucket meal, but, well, they can't all be tens, can they? Would you date someone who's disabled? See, I don't know, man. Disabled is a big term, isn't it? For instance, I don't think it would be ethical of me to plough someone with mental difficulties. However, someone with no arms doesn't have much of a choice. Now, honestly, I don't know what your answer is to those questions, but I've met a surprising number of people who would say no to all or at least some of them. In other words, this guy's not had a sniff lately. Their argument is that it's just a preference and that you can't control who you're attracted to. And let me guess, there's something wrong with that. I think most of the time that this is brought up, it's in regards to race. Well, yeah, that's fair enough. I mean, some people love that Asian persuasion. But in this video, I want to talk about our other biases. Let's start with trans people. Would you date a trans person, honestly? Ah, uh, well, you know, there's a lid for every jar and all of that, but honestly, does not tickle my fancy, mate. Well, if you said no, I'm sorry, but that's pretty discriminatory. Now what? Fuck you, man. Just because you're transgender or disabled or of a certain race or culture doesn't mean I have to date you to fulfill some kind of annual quota. There's no bill of equal rights for my dick. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying you're a horrible person who hates trans people. There was probably a time in my life when I said I wouldn't date a trans person. But yeah, there was probably a time in your life when your parents were proud of you as well. Since then, I've thought critically about it and changed my mind. And that's cool. You do you, boo-boo. But just because you've obviously got some issues you need to work through doesn't mean everyone else is just as fucked up. I could sit here and show you photos of conventionally attractive trans people. There are definitely trans people who you would never know are trans unless they told you. And judging by that gargantuan Adam's apple, Riley, I'm guessing you're not one of them. I think the main concern that people have in regards to dating a trans person is that they won't have the genitals that they expect. I can't really speak on behalf of everyone, but yeah, I'd, I'd say that's a fair assumption. Because we associate penises with men and vaginas with women, some people think they could never date a trans man with a vagina or a trans woman with a penis. Well, gun to my head, yes, I could. I do have that ability. It's just I don't want to. And do you know what it's called when you make someone do something sexually, Riley, when they don't want to? It's called rape, Riley. You're raping the internet. And if you were to say that you're only attracted to people with vaginas or people with penises, it really feels like you're reducing people just to their genitals. Well, sex does have a massive role in most relationships, Riley, which of course you'd know if you ever came into contact with another human being. So yeah, preference of genitals, Big part to play. Anyway, my point is, we have implicit biases that we were raised with or that we developed over time, and they can be hard to get rid of. Whoa, 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 whoa. what do you mean, get rid of? Are you talking about electroshock therapy? Fucking hell, Riley, you've gone so far left, you've fallen off the fucking edge, mate. Someone who is trans and gay, sometimes people ask me, with a very accusatory tone, if I would date a girl with a penis. Because there's this stereotype that trans lesbians are just predatory cis men creeping on cis women. But Riley, you can't sit there and tell me you're a lesbian because you've got long hair and you're wearing a girl's top. Look at the size of your Adam's apple. You're a bloke who likes women. You are not special. We know that sexual orientations are more innate than learned. They're more nature and less nurture. So you're trying to undo human instinct. Fucking hell. Gay conversion therapy has been proven not to work. But Whereas we are actually talking about a kind of straight conversion, and hey, that's okay. You can unlearn your own prejudices. It just takes time and conscious effort. And so you can unlearn them? What are you on about? The way that we talk about potentially dating trans people has a lot in common with the way we discuss other preferences. Saying that you're not attracted to fat people isn't innate. It's informed by a society that tells you that being thin is ideal. So then explain the acronym BBW. Explain chubby chasers. Come on, Mr. Answers. Everything in the media you consume is bombarding you with messages that skinny is beautiful and fat is ugly. And even the nicest of of people absorb these messages to some degree. But Riley, would I be wrong in saying that you tried to lose weight in order to look more like a woman? Because judging by your shoulders, you can shut the fuck up, boy. And lastly, let's talk about disabled people. Oh, I'm gonna go to hell for this one. Disabilities come in a very wide range, from being deaf to being in a wheelchair to only having one arm. <sighs> 
And I think it's pretty ridiculous to say that you couldn't be attracted to any person who has any of those disabilities. In your case, Riley, I'd go for someone who's blind. Disabilities can happen to anyone. Someone you're extremely attracted to today could become disabled tomorrow. And that shouldn't make your attraction to them disappear. It shouldn't, but if their face melted off and they looked like someone had sat on a Mars bar, I, 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 I can't help that, Riley. Surprisingly, this is another case of the media telling you that a certain group isn't attractive. Disabled people are rarely romantic leads. Their stories and movies and TV shows are often tragic. But that doesn't reflect the reality that disabled people can be happy and have dating lives and be attractive. Riley, I don't really know another way of saying this, but disability is tragic. No amount of disabled people playing the leads in romantic comedies is ever going to make it sexy. Now, if you're not attracted to someone, you're not attracted to them. I'm not going to tell you that you have to be attracted to this fat person or that trans person or that disabled person. No, you're just saying if you're not, then you're discriminatory and probably a bigot. The more you work at unlearning your own prejudices, the more you'll be able to see people from these groups as people rather than tired stereotypes. How is it a stereotype, Riley? If I love cock and I'm sat here in my I love cock t-shirt and I'm surfing the website ilovecock.com looking for other people who share a similar love of cock, then it's perfectly reasonable that getting a message from someone saying, hi, I don't have a cock, is not going to float my proverbial boat. I think if you can accept that these prejudices exist in all of us, even you, you can identify them when they come up and work to change how you think about them. Riley, have you ever considered that it's not prejudice and maybe some people just don't find you attractive? Because these dating preferences are ultimately harmful, the people who don't fit into your box uh -huh. of what a conventionally attractive person looks like. It makes people feel isolated, alone, and unwanted wanted to hear that they're universally unattractive to people. Not universally, Riley, just not in this case. I don't think there's anyone out there who somebody doesn't find attractive. We're sold this image of the conventionally attractive person, but in reality, all kinds of people around the world are constantly dating, having sex, finding people attractive, getting married. Have you only just worked that out, you fucktard? Oh my fu- I've been sat here responding to this fucking video. It's not only the conventionally attractive who find love or have sex. So by working on ourselves to dispel that idea, we can make the world a more welcoming and loving place for everybody, no matter how they look. Yeah, I guess what you're kind of saying is people who get laid are happier. And I agree with you there, Riley. So next time you decide to make a video, go and have a wank and then rethink it with a clear head. Thank you for watching guys and thank you very much to my deranged subscribers who've been there since day one and do yourself a favour, go and check out Lou's Intelligence, he's funny as fuck and has the drunken uncle stamp of approval. And remember, don't be prejudiced, suck off an amputee.